afternoon all and guess what Triumph Fruxton so just done a PDI quick bolt check on this one this one has sold now this is the one we did the demo video on about oh six seven weeks ago took it down the park shot the video shot a walk around did a ride test on it and off of the back of that video somebody mailed in to Eclipse hi RB is your Fruxton still available yes it is mate come on who's going first oh for God's sake make your mind up so someone mailed in hi RB is the Fruxton still available yes it is came in had a viewing a couple of days ago <coughs> how quick can you turn it round uh, the way we're booked is going to probably be next Tuesday for handover brilliant what you got to do I thought it was ready to go yes it is but as always Dave's got to do his bulk check PDI blah 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 we got to do all the paperwork on it and it needs a ride test so I've done my bulk check it's all full of fuel everything is ready to roll and I am about to take it out for a ride test and uh, oil cooled this one no water system on this oil cooled bike same as uh, what you'd find on your Harleys and uh, some of the beamers oil cooled makes life a lot easier check the oil it's had a service when it came in with us and the MOT is still January so it don't need doing but it's going to pop it back to us in January we'll put an MOT on it and ride position on this is bloody lovely absolutely love these and there's plenty it's been a, a flat seat all the way through you can slide yourself back into the seat there's a nice little bump at the back gets you into uh, race mode as they say but this thing is an absolute thumper now looking down there at that uh, right hand clock it will tell you we're in road mode I can switch the modes with that right hand control and you can do it on the fly um, not that I am going to it's a little bit overcast is RB feeling daring today so you've got three different modes on it and I'll show you what the modes are very quickly as we pull up so you've got flick it over sport mode rain mode road mode road mode it goes like the stink but I'm feeling daring sod it but let's go full sport mode opens the exhaust up a bit and unleashes the full 1200 cc's of this engine and it's about the same size engine as what I've got on the Tiger but obviously this one it's a big old thumper it's a twin yep twin cylinder 1200 whereas mine is a triple and you can tell when you give it a rev so tiny little mirrors on this it has had the tail tidy deleted and it's got a tiny little uh, LED just under the back seat for the stoplight but it's as bright as hell indicators are just off of the rear by the uh, rear suspension points and neutral 8.9 miles on the trip We've got 50 miles left till we need any fuel in it so the range on these isn't that good but nice little stainless steel strip to hold the, back, the uh, tank down but I love this bit you pop that cover there's a locking fuel cap underneath it Ooh, where did that leaf come from tell it's blowy and the weather's getting very blustery out there looks like Oakley might be on hold for tonight unless we can get out he's jumped the lights right let's get away off the lights get the visor down let's roll around the corner in second gear get the visor down and as they say third gear unleash the beast right third gear and pump that throttle yeah okay <laughs> that is a little bit full on that is very full on and I only needed four gears to do it at 70 but you can hear how blustery it is out there it is really blowing a gale but this thing crouched down slightly over the handlebars giving it a bit of welly so uh, 
off a six gear and we're doing 55 if I was to let hell break loose with the right hand yeah it's that quick it really is that quick on the bike it is not. and the best thing is I've got warm shins the heat coming off that engine is nice it's keeping me uh, nicely toasted but let's keep it at 78 there we go six gear 70 mile an hour and you are just under 4,000 rpm but <coughs> oh, excuse me should you need it there is shed loads there absolute shed loads and it's as stable as hell now the one thing I didn't try is obviously on the fly should it start raining can I flick over flicking in and it's telling me you can't engage rain mode because you're in sport mode it's in rain mode and flashing but it's still stuck in sport mode so you will have to stop and do it as you pull up but rain mode is flashing but I bet you when I pull up it will go into rain mode and drop the power down we shall see so rain mode is flashing at the moment we're going to come off here 60 mile an hour whack a bit of power in god this is fast so hold the mode button down see if that works telling me rain mode will not engage until I stop there we go it's gone into rain mode back to road mode so the modes will only engage when you are stood still we'll go back into road mode it don't need any rain mode at the moment so we'll go down into road mode for around town but sport mode is a little bit full on yeah unleashes the full power and it does sound good Even in road mode, it's still got a lot of torque there. What's it like in the corners, getting it around a tight corner? But you know what, this is like it's literally on rails. There is loads and loads and loads of torque there. Second gear, there we go, down to first gear. And I hear sirens, where are they coming from? Keep an eye on your mirrors. I think they're going the other way. Now obviously off the lights, this is a merge and turn, but you know darn well I'm gonna be off the lights quicker than anybody. Tiny little mirrors, but still got a good view of the road behind. So yeah, you can see, you still get a nice, off these little round mirrors, the bar end mirrors, still get a good view, but the little round mirrors do make it look very good. But it ticks over lovely it's got a lovely purr to it but obviously when you give it a rev it does sound good and believe me you can lift the wheel in first gear <laughs> if you get a little bit too jealous with a triumph because of the torque of these engines it will pick up front wheel up so wait for the lights to change no doubt the other side will go before we do be just my luck but nice easy dials on it, speedo on the left, rev counter on the right, fuel gauge down the bottom right hand side, 50 miles. And it pops and bangs like the proverbial. As soon as you back off you can hear them uh, pops and bangs cutting in. So it's a typical Triumph, it loves to pop and bang, so does mine. I mean, you can't beat good British engineering. Right, to the outside lane we go, because we're going to go right at the bottom. And second gear, obviously. See if I can get it to do it one more time. And being on a road bike, 
you can get that obligatory filter into the front of the queue. There we go, it's as easy as that. Slim enough to get yourself between the cars on this bike to drop a filter in. Now you wouldn't be doing that on a Triumph Explorer. Definitely no room to get through there. But obviously first away from the lights, you know it's gonna gun. So, customer's test ride, all good. sounds lovely when that comes down off them stainless exhausts through the roundabout we go visor up and just leaning it in tucking it in gently absolutely perfect So test ride completed, Triumph Thruxton has been sold, test ride done for the customer. And it runs as sweet as a nut. So, I hope you enjoyed test ride and being out on the Thruxton. Something different for me. So until next time guys, we are out test riding. Whatever you're doing, be well ride safe and as always from RB it's a big goodbye from me